Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about a really cool Pontiac 2 Plus 2 convertible. I'll give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1966 2 Plus 2 Pontiac convertible. I'm gonna give you all the details, but we can also watch the entire video because we're gonna do a walk around, we're gonna do a cold start so you can hear this baby run, dual exhaust, oh, it sounds good. And you can uh, get more of all the information and pictures of all the details of this fine automobile as well. Now you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this car. And or you can go to our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com where you'll find all of our inventory ranging from cars all the way in the 1920s all the way up into the 70s and beyond. So today, well, let's give you some more details about this. Now this was the GTO's big brother, if you will, because uh, Pontiac was uh, you know, one of the first uh, muscle car deals that came out in 1964 with the GTO. Now, this is the first, this is the year that this particular 2 plus 2, it was his own division or its own uh, mark, if you will. I mean, it was all separate, it wasn't just an add on deal, it was its own uh, division of Pontiac in and of itself. Now, there are certain things that came with the uh, 2 plus 2. Definitely, here's the thing you can always tell you could spot them a mile away simply because you've got the emblems on the front of the hood, you got emblems on the back quarter and they made sure to let you know what engine rests under the hood of this particular car, a 421 V8, 338 horsepower. Talk about uh, performance. I mean, this is a big car, but I'll tell you what, that's a lot of V8 power to push down the road with this car, and it really, really does a nice job. Uh, as I said, they made sure to let you know, so if you pulled up alongside somebody in those days and you looked over at the fender, all the 2 plus 2s had the 421 in 1966. Also, it's beautifully optioned outs. So whoever did this car, I mean, a lot of things were standard with the 2 plus 2, but, you know, power steering, power brakes, it's got a power top. I mean, it's just got really, really nice features that came with the 2 plus 2. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you've got lots of performance under the hood. I also always like the fact that you've got <clears throat> the radial tires with the correct wide white wall. I mean, that was the correct width for the white walls with the wire hubcaps with it says right in the middle, Pontiac Motor Division. They made sure to let you know that this was a Pontiac when it pulled next to you. Uh, I, like I said, the 2 Plus 2 also included, take a look at this interior in this particular car, 2 Plus 2 came with the bucket seats and with a center console, and this particular car has the automatic transmission as well. Uh, like I said, the interior is the black vinyl, looks like almost brand new seats, rear seat as well. Like I say, center console with the shifter right there. Uh, the nice thing about this car, no one has really messed with it. It was in the hands of a collector down south, and he did a really, really nice job of preserving this car. So it's really, really in excellent, excellent condition. Padded dash, of course, original instrumentation. However, they did add an oil pressure and temp gauge underneath the dash, just so you have a little more monitoring of what the uh, engine is doing, because in these days, a lot of them had what we called idiot lights. You know, by the time the oil light came on and an idiot light, a little too late, unfortunately, for you. Uh, like I said, take a look at the car, a nice thing. It's got the seat belts front and rear, of course, 1966. Uh, you also have the uh, power brakes. Two plus two was kind of a standalone model in this particular year, 1966. So it was a standalone and it was really, really special. Now you can also find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. You get all the information on this car, our current inventory, and for that matter, some of the cars that we've had in the past as well. So you can, if you're a, uh, internet perusing and you wanna look at some websites, those would be really good for, uh, to give you an idea of some of the neat cars that we currently have and of what we've had in the past. 
No, I think these full-size Pontiacs are just really nice. Lots of leg room for the people in the back. The bucket seats makes it sporty. And like I said, it weighs a little over 4,400 uh, pounds. And it is its original color, by the way. I should make mention of that. It is cameo ivory with a black vinyl interior and a very nice soft top as well. An excellent condition. Glass back window on these particular cars in 1966. Take a look at the size of the inside of the trunk on this car as well. I mean, if you're thinking about you want to bring a few golf clubs someplace, I mean, you can get two or three sets in the back quite easily. So that's kind of always one of those considerations that people like to t think about when they buy these old collector cars. Maybe it's your first car. Maybe it's your uh, Pontiac collector and has always wanted to add this one into your collection. We've got it right here at Ellingson's. Now, if you're like me, I kind of would like to come down and look at it in person if possible. Hey, we are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturday is 10 to 4 as well. So if you're like me, come on, on, come on down, take a closer look. Look at that. I still love vent windows. I don't know. Vent windows for me just were one of those things as a kid, you know, that uh, were just neat because <clears throat> mom and dad smoked a lot. So if they had that, they were able to uh, <clears throat> blow some of the smoke out that way. So, yeah, no, it's one of those cars that's a very, very well taken care of automobile, has all the looks, has all the right stuff, all the two plus two uh, emblems and uh, interior, everything that goes with it, and the big motor, 421 V8. That's a very good size motor and a good performance to say the least. So thank you again for watching our videos at ellingsonmotorcars.com and we hope to see you next time to see another one. Talk to you soon. Thank you much.